Hey guys, it's Paul. As part of this Shopify training, I want to now talk about installing a new theme, going off and purchasing a theme, and then you know downloading it and installing it, and the easy ways to do it. Um, at the moment, I've got obviously my Shopify store is uh, shop.paulnicholson.com, and when I go with this current theme, when I sell T-shirts, so I've got this black sheep T-shirt. On my current theme, if it's a funky colour, obviously white is right, but there's, there's more squares here. So this is a swatch, isn't it? Where it gives you a different colour. But when there's different colours that it doesn't recognise, obviously Kelly Green it doesn't recognise, um, it's not showing up properly. So what I really want is a theme that just shows a list of colours and then just changes the, the, the uh, info up here to match. So... My friend Lana over at Template Monster contacted me and said, if you want a, uh, a new template, then we can provide one for you. So this is a little bit of a sponsored video from Template uh, Template Monster. But I'm going to show you how to go find a template and then download it and install it on your um, Shopify store, right? So, first of all, Lana said go check out the um, Shopify themes, so you know, I was going through and there was hundreds and I was looking through all of them and looking through what do you like and it's, everybody's going to have their own, it depends what you're um, selling, doesn't it, that's what's going to match, so I'm selling more t-shirts, hats, cups, merchandise really, so I'm looking for a merchandise store, I'm looking for, you know, something that's new, that's not been a re that's been around for uh, too long, and it's been updated. And there was actually a banner at the top here when I first came, and I'll, I'll put a link to the um, to the actual um, the actual template that I chose was this multi fly multi purpose Shopify theme. If I go to a live demo and show you. Um, the fashion store is where I came and then I went and found a product and I was looking for how does it look on the catalog page how does it look the pictures the information is all compact it's nice the description works but I'm actually looking for something with options on clothing colors right uh, okay god sod's law it doesn't show come on this one different colours? No. <laughs> so I was looking for one that was going to show me different um, different areas, which is good when you're jumping around. How does the collections look? How does the, the top bar scroll look and the cart? So we'll talk about choosing a theme in a different video. This is just how to purchase one and download it. So this is what I was looking at. Where's the colour pick list? Where's the size pick list? So obviously when I know when I change mine, it'll change this to blue. Obviously they've not tagged it to a, a proper picture. So I like this theme. I went through it. You will need to take longer finding your theme. And then obviously like any other purchase, I add it to cart. I'm going to provide you with a... Lana's always pro, also provided us with a, a discount at Template Monster, 15%, which the code should be happy me biz obviously you know i'm happy me limited having me paul and it should show a discount there uh, sorry the promo code is valid but you can't so i've asked lana to fix that so if you click on that link and you follow uh two template monster then you will get a discount with happy me biz but anyway what happens is you purchase your code and then it'll email you a link to say download it so I have just received it. If I go to template delivery service, proceed to download, I'll click on that. And it's gonna give me a, a zip file to download. It's gonna give me a link to the, um, it's gonna give me a link to find the documentation as well. But I just download the zip file. Now this is everything in one file, it isn't just the zip file to upload to your Shopify. So what you're going to do is let it download and then you're going to unpack it 
on a Mac, I just open it on Windows, you probably just double click it. And now I'll see I've got, you know, files for tools. Here's the theme. Here's uh, screenshots. Here's the fishing theme. Here's the fashion theme. So that's the one that I was looking for is the fashion theme. So that's the file I'm going to upload, right? So I log into my Shopify backend. I go over to online store. I come down here and click upload theme. Now, if you're going to, you can go into Shopify's backend and visit explore themes, Shopify free themes, and visit themes that are sold by third parties, just and then install it from that place. But for this one, I've got the zip file. So I'm going to upload, upload the file, go to my downloads, and find that file, find fashion, and then upload it will upload the theme and now from here I can live edit it before I make it live right I can live change and work on it decide how I want it to look and then publish right so my site will not change while I'm tinkering about so this is my first look at, at the um, customizing of this theme every theme's different so it's hard for me to show you what this theme does but what i'll look at is how do i change the logo how do i change the information how do i go about changing this so now it's relevant to my site right so obviously the header there's a couple of styles of header that i can change i like the i prefer the gray header account links is where it says my accounts if you're logged in uh, settings check out yeah I think I've got to turn it on must be enabled yeah I haven't turned it on this is the little dollar sign up here the um, the choice I don't know why it's not letting me click on it main logo so this is this right so I'm going to select an image for the main logo I'll use you obviously can upload it's remembered that I've already uploaded some stuff uh, so I'm gonna use a happy me one now I'll probably change it to, to my name and fashion store, uh, happy me store, right? Oh, so it's this text there. I need to change that to image, and that'll just change that. So that image isn't big enough, but I'll, I'll work on that later. Promo text, what does that do? If I click on it, shows here, you know, I can change this wording. Oh, find you. me merch store whatever I'm gonna put like you see you saw there it was um, or free shipping or it might be all t-shirts off and you can turn that on and off show search form so I can obviously turn that off show cart I think you want to leave it on don't you show mega menu and leave that on answer and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna tinker and play around change all these so that it's you know relevant to my website i can go in and change how collections look this is a collections page so how does it look am i using small medium large i don't think anything changed there did it? image alignment top middle bottom common overlay common in line i can still there's, there's things i can just change and play with i'm not going to go through in this video how to change it I'll probably do a full training section on the multi-fly theme um, within within the uh, the full training program, just so you can see how my training's been, how my um, Shopify store's been built. But you can see just how easy it is to upload a new theme, and then you're going to go in and and um, change it, and then you're going to publish it live. So if I publish that, luckily I don't get many visitors to my website, so. Uh, at the moment it's all right so if i visit the store that new theme should be live and i've got a lot of changings and edits to do right all products but it's very easy to upload a new theme to buy a theme this is and this is exactly what we were talking about so these t-shirts come in various sides but now i've got a point where you can pick exactly what you want 
and then what size you want and the other one oh this is great as well i didn't show you before i'll just jump back and show you the grid on the other one didn't show up it didn't line up so this is perfect this is exactly what i was hoping would happen that that the sizing grid if i go back so if i re um if i make my other one live again if i publish this one i'll show you what i mean I go back to this so it was this GMN t-shirt right so now the colors the colors got different boxes and then this you see the sizing grid the sizing grid all squished up so the two things that I really needed that word that theme to do do it there's obviously a lot more it can do as well that dragged out into a, a longer video than I expected just because there's a lot of funky things going on check out template monster I'll put a list to um, sites if you're watching on youtube i'll put a list to, to different sites that you may want to look at and if you're watching within the training we're going to go into all this in more depth we're going to find great um themes for you we're going to edit themes if there's popular themes that everybody's using i'll do separate videos on how i'll get that theme and then i'll um show people how to use it so a quick video a little bit scatty but all you've got to do is download the zip file unpack the zip file work out which template zip you need upload it and then you're into tinkering about thanks for watching it's going to be so much more on shopify coming so stay tuned see you soon thanks guys